Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to this little demonstration I want to give you on lapse rates and on air pressure and the effect that it has on temperature. So you know that uh, in the atmosphere, especially in the troposphere, with the increase in elevation, you're going to have a decrease in temperature, right? And uh, that all that happens because of adiabatic effects. So I wanted to kind of demonstrate that to you today uh, about adiabatic heating and cooling and its reliance on air pressure and, and temperature. So uh, what I have here is a bike pump and the bike pump is connected of course to a bike tube and the bike tube also has a temperature probe, temperature gauge that's stuck in there to measure the air temperature inside of the bike tube as I pump it up and decrease the pressure. So you're going to see how all this stuff plays out. Now on your screen you should also see uh, the temperature uh, currently inside of the, the tube, which is 22 degrees Celsius as I'm looking at this. So we're going to track the temperature now. I'm going to turn on the, uh, the air temperature tracking and as I do that I'm going to start pumping up the uh, tire. So I'm going to turn that on, okay, and it's going to start tracking the temperature over time. And I'm just going to start pumping this up and as I pump it up, of course the air temperature uh, you're going to see, it's going to be a slightly, it's not going to be a major temperature change because the um, pressure changes aren't going to be huge, but you are going to see an increase in pressure, increase in temperature as I increase the pressure inside of this uh, bike tube. So this is going to take a little bit of time, but I can kind of speed it up here. Okay, so now I got this pretty pumped up. The temperature did go up a little bit. Now watch what happens when I release the pressure. Okay, so you can actually see in the final graph we achieved what we wanted to. So although these are pretty small temperature changes, you can see that over the time uh, that I was pumping it, the temperature did slowly go up, and then once I released the pressure, the temperature goes down. So that shows you adiabatic uh, effects, right? So it's the adiabatic heating with the pressure going up and the adiabatic cooling with the temperature going down. So that's what creates the lapse rates that we see in the atmosphere, right? Of uh, As you go up in altitude, the pressure goes down, air pressure goes down, temperature goes down. And as you go down in the altitude, as a, for example, a parcel of air goes down, the air temperature will increase because air pressure increases due to adiabatic heating. So I hope you enjoyed the demonstration.